So hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Red Reacts. My name is Leon, I'm the one looking after you. And we're back with some Jeff Castellucci, the low, the low bass singer himself. Um, and this is also a chance for me to do a crossover to my other love, gaming. And we're doing Unshaken, which was originally done by D'Angelo, I believe, for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I'm not overly familiar with the Red Dead Redemption games. I've done one evening of Red Dead 2 online, but that's all I really have to do. I One of my friends played me this song a few years back. Don't really remember it that well, but it's a chance for that crossover between the Red's AOB and also the Red Event game side of me. So... Really looking forward to seeing what this one brings. I said his voice is normally stunning, seems so deep. So if you enjoy it, make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell. Thoughts, comments, and requests below. Do check out the links in the video description, see if you can support the channel in any way through things like Patreon, Amazon, merchandise, and other bits and pieces. And of course, the community tab for updates and announcements. Right. Let's get the ears on. Let's see what this one brings us. Love the fact already we've got the different personalities he's doing again. It's always clever when he does that. Um, I've had many a conversation with people about how he does all the lighting and all this on the, these in his videos. But again, it just sets up nicely and the colouring automatically makes you think Red Dead. Again, the way he does it, you know, the lighting, it makes it all look like it's one shot. Don't just, I still don't envy his editor. Um, just to edit those sort of scenes, yeah, it must be fun. But it's so cleverly shot in the first place. The way he drops his voice so deep is frighteningly good. Um, and yeah, it's just I love the fact all the different personas he manages to play, and yeah, very clever. Stand unshaken amid amidst the crash of the world. The past, they often whisper, yeah. They whisper when no tongue can tell. Mm -hmm. He who drinks from the deep water. It's 
so good. It's so clever. It's so atmospheric. It's yeah. I mean, it. I really. It's one of those games. I wish I'd had a chance to play more at the time, but it wasn't. I just didn't. And this game is. It's this is making me want to go and actually play the game more. But it's the time element. What have you seen? Were there crossroads? Where you been? Where you been? Where have you been? I was standing tall. Oh, now I feel my backs against the wall. Love the beat change that was really cool that just gave it an extra impetus and it's in it just adds to the atmosphere of it building uh, it's just so clever it's just so so clever when the morning light it comes to me it was there, but I could not see, no. Am I to wonder, as a wayward son, will the hunter be haunted by the smoking gun? May I stand unshaken me amidst the crash of the world? That's not the, the reason I've talked about it is, you know, you see songs like this and it shows the effort that goes into the music for video games nowadays. It's not the, you know, the simple electronic stuff of years ago. It's proper, proper songs that go into games now. You know, we've seen more and more actors get involved in computer games. And this just shows that music is now becoming the thing. Of course, it's just, yeah. It's an amalgamation of all forms of entertainment. Wow. Uh, yep. Just so bassy. Just, this is so good. Uh, his voice is just killer. It's just so stunning. Um, as I said, it, it really makes me delighted when I see the quality of music in games nowadays. You know, we've put up with second rate music in games for many a year and when you see you know music like this in games it just make, gives you that lift to say yeah you know some artists take the gaming serious some gaming companies take the gaming side of things serious and but yeah but when you see his version of this that's just stunning frighteningly frighteningly good 
I mean, I did watch it all the way to the end and we you know, thanked all his patrons and everything as well and the people that were involved. I mean, I probably will have cut, I will have cut that out because it is just a really a list of the patrons and all that. But again, the, the work that people put in behind the scenes to these videos is never to be underestimated. You know, I wish I had some people that did that for me. Um, but yeah, just such a, such a good song. Uh, do go and check out the full the full version in the link below. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell, thoughts, comments, and requests below. Check out the links in the video description. Check out the community tab and join us for the next one. I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.